in this session let us discuss about welding transformer of course i know that welding transformer is not there in the syllabus but at the same time i know that welding transformer has to be analyzed in order to understand about the leakage properly okay kind of leakage should be more or leakage should be less some kind of stuff and it will give the what do you say unconnected dot to synchronous machine also alternator also anyway coming to the point for example in machines in order to understand machines only one simple thing contradictory statements we should be able to understand properly for example previously i told you about one contradictory statement that is air gap okay air gap in a rotating machine air gap should be more or air gap should be less okay so air gap should be less we can say because in order to produce some given amount of flux means current to be injected or field current requirement is going to be less but at the same time air gap should be more air gap should be more why in order to reduce noise okay for example if this is the stator and this is the rotor in between the stator and rotor air gap will be there rotor is rotating like this so in between if air gap is less air gap is less obviously noise will be less okay so from noise perspective point of view air gap should be more and from field current point of view air gap should be less air gap should be less so means better trade off should be done between these two in deciding the practical air gap of the rotating machine in the same way air gap should be more sorry here leakage should be more or leakage should be less should be properly understood okay normally for example if leakage is less what is the advantage for example leakage is less means that leakage reactance is going to be less means that leakage impedance is going to be less okay means that voltage drop across leakage impedance is going to be less okay means that terminal voltage variations are going to be less okay so for example if i think of this as e2 which is constant this as v2 which is going to be variable depending upon i2 and theta 2 depending upon i2 and theta 2 okay so if leakage is less leakage impedance is less voltage drop across leakage impedance is going to be less under that condition my terminal voltage variations will be less so leakage should be more or leakage should be less okay so leakage from voltage regulation point of view leakage should be less but in some applications leakage may have to be tremendously high for example if you think of welding transformer okay so welding transformer if you see at uh, means in order to for example two electrodes are there if i want to weld this weld this two to three mm gap should be maintained okay so who can maintain two to two to three mm gap they will short circuit again they will open circuit again it will be fully loaded it they will maintain two to three mm gap and after that again they are going to short circuit they again they are going to open circuit in the sense my welding transformer should be means we should be able to design the welding transformer even for short circuit conditions also because no operator can welding operator no operator can maintain two to three mm gap at each and every time it will be short circuited and again it will be open circuited okay so for example for example if i think of the same okay so see here for example this is e2 okay this is e2 and now resistance is going to be as usual now if i can increase leakage if i can increase leakage reactance if i can increase leakage reactance then what will happen for example i2 is zero i2 is zero under that conditions e2 equal to v2 e2 equal to v2 okay now for example even if short circuit occurs even if short circuit occurs short circuit occurs then what will happen short circuit currents are going to be less because e2 divided by z e2 which is going to be very high okay so basically this impedance can be reduced in two ways one is resistance can be increased or leakage can be increased if i increase resistance unnecessarily it will be lossy component but if i increase leakage leakage is going to be lossless component already we know okay so by increasing leakage by increasing leakage steady short circuit currents can be reduced okay so in order to protect any machine from regular short circuit conditions under that condition my reactance value should be intentionally made high okay for example let us compare our normal transformer distribution transformer or power transformer normal transformer and alternator okay now transformer transformer it's a very simple device simple machine most rugged machine most rugged machine and kind of cheap machine compared to alternator okay alternator is going to be the biggest machine complicated machine complicated machine and at the same time very costly machine okay so in transformer for example transformer will be there for transformer also voltage regulation or voltage variations will be there for example if i think of this as e2 is nothing but ef okay resistance leakage 
okay so if i think of e2 v2 that is going to be transformer ef vt ef vt and the current is going to be ia is going to be alternator that's it okay so first of all for example for a transformer as yes, that is cheap machine most rugged machine means voltage regulation should be less in that way we will design in the sense leakage is intentionally reduced means maximum we will try our level best to keep my leakage as minimum as possible so the moment leakage is less leakage reactance is going to be less voltage drop across leakage reactance is going to be less terminal voltage variations are going to be less our voltage regulation is going to be less okay now if you think of alternator for example alternator the moment it's costliest machine costliest machine protection is more important compared to performance okay so yes this is costliest machine protection is more important compared to what do you say performance now transformer if you see it's a static element static machine and the two no rotating parts no complicatedness it's a simple machine it's a simple machine and it's a cheap machine so we design here for better performance we design here for better performance but if you think of alternator alternator we should be able to protect we should be able to protect even if short circuit happen so for alternator protection is more important for alternator compared to performance so in alternator also this particular uh, reactance is intentionally made high okay alternator also how and all we will see in synchronous okay so this particular uh, what do you say reactance Re reactance is intentionally increased to maximum value such that what will happen what is the short circuit currents ef divided by z okay reactance is high so z is going to be high so even if short circuit happens steady short circuit conditions can be limited okay so whenever short circuit happen if you want to limit the short circuit currents compulsorily reactance should be high now similarly for welding also in welding every possibility is there that every time it can be short circuited under that conditions in order to limit short circuit current conditions means my reactance should be increased okay now tell me leakage should be more or leakage should be less leakage should be less transformer distribution transformer power transformer leakage should be high welding transformer and kind of actually armature reaction also will be included here leakage plus armature reaction or something what are it to be total x value let us consider monlo okay so that x value should be high x value should be high in alternator so leakage should be least or leakage should be highest that depends upon the application okay so leakage or any any parameter to be precise that's why machines we have to understand from contradiction okay so for example if i simply complete transformer and then you may be in a feel of okay leakage should be less leakage should be less but again without understanding uh, synchronous now again if we when we start synchronous confusion will come okay so point is very simple leakage should be less or not yes transformer leakage should be high or not yes synchronous yes synchronous okay and let us think of welding transformer anyway let us think welding transformer in welding transformer if you see terminal response characteristics are external characteristics okay so for example in in welding transformer let us think of whatever may be the characteristic requirement for example if this is the terminal voltage this is the welding current load current when current is less voltage should be high okay so in welding case voltage it will not be in kilovolts and all it will be 80 volts 100 volts 40 volts something like that okay otherwise they cannot weld mechanical engineers okay so uh, point here is not engineers don't do that i know but uh, welding and all we don't do it for uh, very high voltage because shock hazards and all will be there now for example when load current is less voltage should be high even if it is short circuited short circuited even if it is terminal voltage is short circuited my study short circuit current should be limited study short circuit current should be limited okay so leakage should be high now how to increase leakage in transformer let us see for example as i have written previously also e2 and resistance is this and reactance should be high so leakage should be high okay so this is terminal voltage load characteristic even if short circuit happens my load current is going to be should be limited okay terminal current is going to be should be limited now coming to the point how to do that how to do that okay for example if i see my core structure will be like this okay now whenever uh, you want to have any welding things at your home at your home they will 
that the welders will come along with the transformer along with the transformer now it will be like normally air cooled only so just you can open and see the core okay small air gap will be there very small air gap maximum maybe five six papers we can keep inside okay see here this is going to be connected to ideal voltage source only this is going to be connected to ideal voltage source only v1 okay for example v1 is 100 volts e1 should be 100 volts and 100 flux line should be produced for example of course with scaling factor and all 100 flux line should be produced okay now secondary let me keep it here okay yet starting you don't understand again i'm going to analyze the same in magnetic circuit point of view analogous electrical circuit for magnetic circuit you will understand okay so pi naught for example 100 flux lines came now this is at no load condition this is at no load condition now out of the total flux here total flux here there are two parts okay so at least if you do if you don't consider internal leakage and all means main classification if you see some flux can go like this some flux can go like this some flux can go like this now less flux will go through this more flux will go through this why because here reluctance is there air gap is there okay air gap reluctance is more so more flux will go through this very less flux will go through this okay such that more flux are going through this so significant amount of voltage will be produced here produced here now for example for example all of a sudden short circuit happens short circuit happens okay so if short circuit happens under that conditions current will flow under that condition opposite mmf will be created okay because this is going to be number of turns n2 into i2 is going to be the current so opposite mmf will be there okay so whatever will be the flux again here 100 flux lines only will be there same flux will be there now for this flux if you divide okay very less flux will go through this very more flux high flux will go through this okay why because opposition mmf will be there opposition mmf will be there i know that you don't understand now let us think of drawing the analogous electrical circuit now you will understand okay so for example at starting reluctance is high here and reluctance is less here okay so at starting black if you see 100 flux lines are coming out of 100 flux lines, most of the flux lines will go through this only because reluctance is going to be less here reluctance is going to be more because the small air gap will be there so out of the total flux more flux lines will go through this very less flux line will go through this very less flux line will go through this now if you think of red okay is going to be short circuit under short circuit conditions what will happen i2 current will flow here and n2 and i2 is going to be the mmf so n2 and i2 is going to be mmf now how much flux will go through this whatever way with that for example if you think of nodal kind of stuff this node voltage minus this node voltage by resistance okay so under that condition what will happen the moment this mmf come less flux will go through this more flux will go through this okay so less flux is going through this less flux is going through this under that conditions induced voltage is going to be less okay so in this way in this way leakage is going to be increased or not yes okay so how to increase the leakage just we have to provide one more path okay so if i don't have this for the leakage reluctance is going to be high very high because 50 percent of flux path should be in the air gap okay but if you think of here small air gap will be there so compared to here reluctance will be more compared to here reluctance will be more but compared to normal leakage reluctance is going to be less only no okay so in this way leakage is going to be increased okay so point to be noted here is very simple okay we should not uh, what do you say trust only one thing in application oriented subjects okay so depending upon the application leakage should be more yes depending upon the application leakage can be least yes okay so depending upon the application air gap can be more air gap can be less okay so in this way we have to analyze contradictory statements we should be able to digest in machines then only we will be able to understand machine properly now if you think of voltage regulation for example okay so how much is the voltage regulation if you calculate no load voltage minus for example full load voltage okay so no load voltage is here no load voltage is here maybe full load current can be here okay maybe full load current can be here 
ओके दिस गोइंग टू फुल लोड वोल्टेज सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी नो लोड वोल्टेज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी फुल लोड वोल्टेज नो लोड वोल्टेज टू फुल लोड वोल्टेज हाउ मच इज द वोल्टेज वेरिएशन इज गोइंग टू बी हाई वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन इज गोइंग टू बी हाई ओके वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन इज गोइंग टू बी हाई सो वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन इन सम एप्लीकेशन आर इंटेनेशनली इंक्रीज इंटेनेशनल इंक्रीज इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोटेक्ट द वेल्डिंग ट्रांसफॉर्मर आर इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोटेक्ट द आल्टरनेटर ओके इन आल्टरनेटर आल्सो इन ट्रांसफॉर्मर वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन विल बी इन सिक्स परसेंट टेन परसेंट ट्वेल्व परसेंट बट इन आल्टरनेटर वोल्टेज रेगुलेशन कैन गो बियॉन्ड हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके बिकॉज आल्टरनेटर प्रोटेक्शन इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट कंपेयर टू परफॉर्मेंस ओके इन वे विथ लीकेज लीकेज इज नॉट लॉस सो इवन इफ यू लीक इवन इफ यू इंक्रीज लीकेज ऑल्सो इन एफिशियंसी इट विल नॉट शो एनी रिजल्ट ओके मीन्स एफिशियंसी विल नॉट बी इन्फ्लुएंसड बाई लीकेज सो लीकेज वी कैन इंक्रीज लीकेज वी कैन इंक्रीज इन आर्डर टू प्रोटेक्ट द सिस्टम Thank you.